it's by the guy we sort of see as um, Singapore's first gay poet. He didn't advertise the fact that he was gay, but he was. Uh, but but and so it's very hard to like find gay elements in his writing. But he was quite open about it in within the literary community, and he was like, uh, yeah, people say he was like the best of the first generation of Singapore English language poets. His name was Arthur Young, and uh, he's he passed away um, about about eight years, well, quite some time ago. Uh, it was about five years ago, I think. Uh, by by then, he had already been putting. Um, his uh, partner died first. His partner's name was Keith, uh, a British man, and uh, every year since Keith had died, he'd been putting his uh, Keith's obituary in papers. And of course, when Arthur Yap died, there was a big obituary talking about the loss of a great Singapore poet, and there was slight mention of Keith, his friend. Your goodness. For Keith. Your goodness, I sometimes light by anger is what you have. No one can burn it away. It is not for my discussion. I know you near you. I, feel my, I myself feel good. And this is enough for me, my friend. This is a lifetime friendship. The poem is short, inadequate, and, except for a word, totally redundant. And now for someone a little younger, may I invite to the stage Ms. Deborah Emanuel. <laughs> Deborah is a pre-cast performance poet and she is also, and it's, uh, we've, we've had her up here for the past two years. Unfortunately, this year she's going to Australia. white chocolate diamonds. It begins to rain and I take out my foldable umbrella and share it with you. You hold it because you are taller, but this is about you and I walking down the street and it starts to rain and you take out your foldable umbrella, slide it open and give it to me while you walk by my side, little droplets darkening your shoulders. This is about you and I, sitting at the dinner table with the last meat cutlet lying helplessly in the dish, and I put it on your plate and you, and cut you a half while I take the other. But this is about you and I, having dinner, and you give me the bigger half of the last meat cutlet you made without question, and I don't question because it tastes so good and I work out more than you anyway. This is about us, lying in bed, and I stare at the bumps of your spine, perfectly placed, halving your smooth back, so symmetrical. This is you, opening your palm to me. Let's run to the edge of the earth, jump up onto the sun as it passes, and let it take us in flames to the sky. I should tell you, it's impossible. This is me. My mouth makes the shape of I love you, I love you, I, I, I can't, I'm afraid, I'm not who you think I am. This is about you and I, getting on a plane to nowhere. We will start over, and I'm trying to give you more time to tell me that it's going to be okay, but this is about you and I, dancing in the sky because we caught the sun, but we won't be long because I will fall while you stay suspended, floating, good, too good, you are too good for me. See, 
they are, you know, young people, they say they don't, they don't dare to come and sit on the floor. You know, young people, they don't, they don't have initiative, you know, they don't like start their own companies, they don't work hard, they don't begin their own theatre companies. Oh, wait, they do, because we do have actually someone who started his own theatre company. It's called The Common Folk. And may I please introduce to the floor, uh, Mr. Christopher Falk. Hi. Yeah, uh, I don't know how to top that last act, but I'm going to try my best. Um, this is a piece I wrote. Uh, is it this year or last year? Yeah, I fell in love with the DJ. I think if you recognize this song, yeah. So. I thought I would never feel this way again. It's been two years since then, and my heart, which was once bandage wrapped is looking to get hurt again. I had gone there without any expectations, just go there to have a bit of fun and trudge home alone, usual thing. Imagine my face when I sat on the floor near the DJ decks and looked up into the eyes of the most pristine being I'd ever seen. I think my mouth hung open. He stares at me for a few seconds as if double taking a picture in his head. He spots his friend, but his gaze goes back to me. I'm familiar to him. Maybe not. He goes back to spinning his tracks. I sit down shakily and still glances at him from below, after which the night is spent stalking him from the corner, like a creep, a weirdo, for this angel that floats on air. I ask about his name. I need to be his friend on Facebook, get a clearer picture of him. Something to sigh over in the meantime. Of course, to make sure I'd stand a chance, I proceeded to ask all the other girls for their opinion. Ever since the rise of metrosexuality, my data has been fucked up. So, I don't trust myself anymore. When his set finally plays, I stand there in front of him, in front of him, dancing to him, of course, with the hip gyrations and all. Needless to say, I did not dance like a sexed up male stripper. It's best not to up yourself so revealingly. He's singing to his own tracks, and I caution myself not to do anything drastic, so drastic as getting up on the decks and sniffing his neck. His set is over. And you hold yourself back, don't swamp him, don't lose so the ghost might be wrong, you might be wrong. For me, rejection always seems to end with me getting punched by a homophobe. That goes, that's what goes on in my head, not that I'm scared of getting hit, but I wouldn't want to put somebody I like through such embarrassment. He surrounds himself with his, with his friends, approaching his heart. Now he's popular, I came to the party alone, it's JC all over again. Go up to him. Introduce yourself, if only for the chance to feel the texture of his palm when you shake his hand, stare into his eyes, let all the subtle body language show that you are into him. His hand is not quite firm but comforting. He's comforting. Your right hand warms from his touch and you know that you are falling, falling hard. You get his name, but you already know it, so you feign not hearing it properly. Be closer to hear it again, say, you're a bit deaf, and he thinks. He smiles at you, you believe it's genuine. How can somebody look so good up close? <laughs> Fantasize. Images flow through your head like watered-down primordial soup. It all happens in a split second. There's an image of you having lunch with him, a walk downtown, dinner, your first kiss, going back to a hotel room, fumbling of clothes, the rest shall be nameless, they are too precious for words. Waking up with him pressed against your back, his soft breath on your ear, more smiles and laughter, your first fight, tears, you make up plans for the future, you stop. You stop it right there, a future without you. You wonder if out there in some alternate reality, your happiness has evolved beyond yourself. That fulfillment cannot be denied to all your other selves, that would be too cruel. The conversation is over. He's going home, let him turn around, let them walk backwards and reverse as long as you are moving forward. He has a nice back though. <laughs> Broad like how walls are non-imposing and non-judgmental, only used to separate you from another space, another time. He doesn't lapse back. How does he see me? For a second, I would like to know. It's been a day since then, since the 4th of May. He has not replied and dreams are about him for once, no more nightmares for the time being. You can actually feel your heart this time. Your chest is full and smoldering. Your heart does more than pump blood. It beats for something else. It dawns upon me that if he is graduating, he did say last exam somewhere in the conversation, then that was the last time I was ever going to see him. 
your stupid hopeful heart continues to beat anyway despite that likelihood there will be no closure this time round no you will have to wait it out you've been like you've been waiting for the past 12 years of your life wait for the feeling to fade out of sight out of mind i still have a problem with that phrase eye candy is not made to be swallowed or chewed just tasted that's all it will ever be a lick of the hand if you will and you hope that that taste is enough to continue onto your next meal thank you